Recently, I went down to London. Epic Games hosted a Paragon game event and I was lucky enough to be invited. Originally, I was going to be able to play the game, meet other people in the community, the people behind the game, and just have a good time. Amazingly, however, they actually let us record some of our own gameplay, and finally, today, I'm allowed to share it with you. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. What is a Paragon, and more importantly, can I eat it? I mean, yes, you can eat that, but that's a fucking apple, not Paragon. This is Paragon. Games like League of Legends and Dota 2 dominate the MOBA scene. I've played both games for years and Smite actually tried to take a clever new idea where you actually get to be the character and bring in a new way to play this type of game. Skill shots will become much harder, this 3D environment you can properly explore and play and it's really cool but the problem with Smite is that it felt rigid and limited. It felt kind of flat is the way that I would describe it so that you know you were able to land ultimate so you're able to last it. The gameplay itself it felt easier because it was much more rigid and limited whereas Paragon is backed by Epic Games who have the talent and funds to make a well polished functional game that doesn't need to limit itself in the way that Smite does and the big question is did they yeah I would say I would say they did now I couldn't not include some gameplay this is me playing Gideon in the middle of a match from the session, and I just hit a free man ultimate black hole. That's the special ultimate of this character, Gideon. He's like a mage caster. He's got this like portal on his back. You see that he's got like this thing. And every time he auto attacks, he puts his hand on his back and pulls out this like, I don't know, nether fucking juice and slings it some direction. Now we're gonna go push this tower and pretty cool thing about towers is, you see the tower at the top right is actually shooting us with the laser, but we're attacking the core. We're not actually shooting and hitting the tower itself. We're just killing the thing that powers it, and then the tower can no longer attack us. I think it's pretty cool uh, visually. And then you see the enemy base behind a little bit deeper in there. Visually, the game is stunning. Functionality-wise, it feels smooth and less clunky than that of Smite. We have good potential here. Outside of that, we have 13 playable characters so far, a fairly simple level system, and a unique card system where you can actually choose what items will be available in your specific shop once you're in-game. Very interestingly, you can actually choose to not just use a mouse and keyboard, you can actually choose to use your PlayStation 4 controller if you wanna. The game is coming out for PlayStation 4 on top of PC, and shockingly, after playing the PlayStation 4 version at the event, there is barely any advantage to the mouse like you would expect. It felt solid, which is very important because the servers are going to be cross-platform, meaning PlayStation 4 can be with and against PC players. As a player who hasn't played any MOBAs properly for like the last year while I've been diving into CS, it does feel good to be back playing one, but one that feels refreshing when compared to a top-down one like League, like Dota, and much more functional and smooth than something like Smite that tried something similar. I wanted this to be like an introductionary video for you, my viewers, who might have heard about the game or just didn't know about it. I plan to do some videos on the games that I played at the event using my own gameplay, so if you would like to see that, do let me know. But if you can't wait for that, please go ahead and check out some of the videos from Ace and Beanhead, who actually met at the event. Ace actually has some great hero spotlights where you can check out what abilities each character has, and he's sort of done it in a very interesting and funny way. He also has analyzing of footage that Epic Games has actually released, and of course the updates that they release in each new wave of testing. Whereas Beanhead actually has some lovely nitty gritty facts and info for you if you're interested in meta, mechanics, and maybe the card system, and more to do with that. They're both lovely people, and if you're interested in the game even remotely, I would recommend checking the channels out. Final note, in case anyone is wondering if it stands up to hours of gameplay, I would say easily. I found myself waiting to play the last online session that opened up at 4pm last Saturday, and I played that same session all the way until 1am, only stopping because it actually ended 
and I also needed to eat something halfway through. I'm already excited to play more in the upcoming session this Saturday, but that's all under NDA, meaning I can't show you any of that, I can't stream any of that, and all of what you've seen, my gameplay today, is thanks to the guys from Paragon who actually let us use the footage that we gathered at the event and talk about the game before everyone else. It's a really cool opportunity, so a big thank you. But guys, come on, lift the NDA on the online test. I want to I wanna stream the game. Please, please, come on. Come on, do it. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I will see you next time in more Paragon stuff, hopefully soon. See you next time, guys.